Hello, my name is Carl. I'm Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, and if this is the first time that you've seen me and seen the channel, thank you for watching. So today is Sunday. It's um, near enough mid October um, 2020, and I've got a few hours uh, to myself today, which is a rarity just lately. So it's it's been a, a bit of an an antenna day. It's been a day for just tweaking antennas and just messing about just trying to improve um the <coughs> a couple of antennas that i'm using so this is something that i've learned over the past couple of years of holding a an amateur radio license is that um, we spend all this money on the radio side of things and then we just chuck up a piece of crap for an antenna uh, and then just wonder why the experience isn't you know is it always fulfilling so um, it's really important and I found it's been really important to uh, just really get the antennas tuned in as best as I can and understand a bit more about the configuration of the antennas. So today I've done two antennas so far. The one, the one on the car which is a little, a little Wilson and it's one that I've cut for the CB radio that I've got in the car. I tend to use channel 25 locally because it's a decent channel, it's a, it's a decent uh, bunch of people on channel 25 in this area where I live. So I've got a um, a CRT, I think it's a, I think it's a six nine hundred, or I've got a CRT radio in the car, um, just on on channel 25 mostly. But the little Wilson, it just wasn't tuned in, and I thought it was tuned in. I thought for the past six months I've had it on the car that it was um, okay in that portion of the band, but it wasn't. <clears throat> um, it was resonant uh, at lower part of the band, so to bring the resonance back up to where it should be, around between channels 15 and 25 on the 11 meter, I've had to uh, trim a bit more off the antenna and in, in uh, the SWR is now is perfect across that portion of the band. So that was the first bit I've done today. That was quite easy to do. And the second job was related to the antenna that I've got outside for my main radio in here. Previously I've been running a, a piece of wire, almost like a random length piece of wire. Probably about 28, 29 metres long and it went up one pole across to another um, <clears throat> um, fiberglass pole and then down at an angle to the fence, along the fence, and then the actual wire dropped down a bit more towards the ground. So rather than running a multi-band um, fan vertical fan dipole off the DX Commander, I've been using the, the ground radials, I've been using the SGC tuner at the base of the transmitting wire, uh, and I've just ran that as a, as a random length. <clears throat> which is okay, like I said, it was okay on the lower bands, but I found that on the 20 meter band and the 70 meter and, and such like, I felt that it wasn't really performing as well as it could, could, could do. So, partly out of an experiment, I've actually measured the wire and I've cut the wire to a half wave on 40 meters. So I've cut it about 19.8 or so, uh, meters and I've run that up the pole and down at a like a lazy angle and I'm just currently running um, FT8 on 17 meters and I'll also run FT8 on 15 meters and as we get some decent sun spots I'm hoping I can start picking up some more of the the um, higher bands rather than concentrating on 80 I want to try and at least see if if cutting it to a half wave on 40 starts to give me um, <clears throat> a better performance on the higher bands. Hopefully by having it um, more resonant on a number of frequencies and having the angle better of the wire, I'm hoping the and the takeoff, the you know I'm hoping the radiation pattern improves for the higher bands. So that's the plan, I'm hoping that'll work. And uh, let me just, we're getting a bit, uh, let me just turn it down. The sun's shining now over here and it makes me 
shine off my head. So that's two jobs that I've done today. I, um, and I've also, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a unboxing, and I don't do unboxing videos, but this is a present from Whiskey Zero Foxtrot Whiskey Sean. I'm just opening this. Um, uh, so Sean's seen the videos that I've got of using the MFJ 1979, which is the telescopic um, metal uh, antenna, uh, and it's perfectly tuned into 20 meters, so you can run that against a set of radials that set up the coil on 40 meters. Um, and I always found it's difficult to tune in. Uh, there's been a couple of camping videos or camping video where it was a bit of a fail and <clears throat> but Sean has sent me the uh, Wolf River coil <clears throat> eventually get around to saying it's he sent me the, the Wolf River coil um, is it the silver bullet I think I'll find the details put the details in the um, notes below uh, I sent it I sent it free of charge the man has, and I'm, I'm so impressed I'm, just, I'm also so impressed he got here as well. Um, so what a top man. Um, <clears throat> so what have we got? Oh, crikey. Okay, I've got more than I thought I had. So, and I've tried to find these in the UK to see if you can buy, buy a Wolf River coil and I can't find anywhere in the UK. If there is somewhere in the UK, just um, put that in the comments below. Right. <clears throat> and there's also a, um, a letter here. So Sean has actually, um, he's ordered the Sota Special Wolf River Coil. Um, and he actually um, has writ written a letter from himself to the makers of, of, the, of the coil. Sean's actually purchased this. He's actually asked the Wolf River Coil uh, chaps to send me a brand new Sota special, and Sean has actually paid for it. So that it, it's, I'm I'm so chuffed. I'm so happy with that. Hopefully by sharing my learning with the of this particular antenna, I'm hoping that others will benefit from that, and it sort of extends the value of of the of the gift. So. I'm absolutely stunned. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you very much. I'm just <clears throat> so yeah. I'm absolutely stunned. So thank you very much. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. Okay. So um, this, for those of you who may may not have used anything like this, um, basically, if you want to. <clears throat> uh, try and get a compact uh, antenna uh, rather than have running a piece of wire for a quarter wave or five eighths wave or whatnot. You can actually use a coil, so the coil of the the coiled wire um, gives you that you know the the length of the antenna. It just sort of um, shortens it. So with the with these coils, you have you can actually move. Um, you can undo, it says, can you undo this? Um, and this will help you to then tune in the, is that what we got? Yeah. This, this would slide up and down and help you to tune in to the band, or well, to the frequency that you want to work on. And with this, um, oh, got very similar to off the uh, super antenna. And then, um, Oh, this is the, um, oh, okay. So this is a telescopic whip that screws onto the coil, like that. So that there's a whip. And then this would screw, I guess, directly onto that. Um, Oh, so, so these are the tripod legs. Let's just turn some light up again. So these are, I take the, take it, these are tripod legs. 
these are tripod legs, three of them, and then this is a radial or a, a bunch of radials that you would then uh, probably hook on. Most likely, I think you probably screw that screw these on through the uh, tripod legs. I suspect, and then they'll come off this bit onto the ground. So, <clears throat> Sean, you you're an absolute gent for selling this, sending me this, and I'm I'm dead impressed. So I will be doing a video of taking this outdoors and uh, giving it a go. Um, I would set it up in a back garden here, but I find that setting up right next to the house, um, I tend to sort of get reflections and all sorts, I think anyway, and I need a good open space to give the antenna a good test. But uh, that's super light, I mean, that and a, and a small battery and maybe something like the FT817 or even the Icon 703 um, that, that and that and the backpack and the flask of tea uh, and that's pretty much me happy then so that's absolutely wonderful if you do enjoy the videos and the outdoor videos can you give me a thumbs up on, on them if you've not yet subscribed and you do enjoy what you've seen on the channel uh, can you, you know, hit that subscribe button that really helps youtubers to know that we're doing the right thing so it is really important it's really really uh, you know we are blessed to have um some good people following us so thank you for watching and look forward to the next videos bye bye for now